Hello, my name is Eric Ruiz, and my keynote will be centered around the famous painter Frida Kahlo. Within this presentation, I will be discussing who she was and why to this day she continues to be remembered for her amazing feats. I will also discuss one of her famous art pieces, which is titled The Suicide of Dorothy Hale. I will do this by discussing who Dorothy Hale was and finally discussing the artwork itself. Who was Frida Kahlo? The following information is all from the source FridaKahlo.org. Frida Kahlo was born on July 6, 1907 in Coyoacan, Mexico City. As a child, Frida suffered from poor health. She contracted polio at the age of 6 and had to be bedridden for 9 months. This disease caused her right leg and foot to grow much thinner than her left one. In 1922, Frida Kahlo attended the renowned National Preparatory School in Mexico City. Sadly, in 1925, a bus collided with a streetcar and sadly, Frida Kahlo suffered injuries. A steel handrail impaled her through the hip. Her spine and pelvis were fractured and this accident left her in a great deal of pain, both physically and psychologically. To kill the time and alleviate the pain, she started painting and finished her first self-portrait the following year. Icon to this day. The following information is from a journal entry. Her powerful, bold art and self-portraits have left a lasting impression. Among the Mexicans, she is admired for drawing attention to Mexican and indigenous culture and among feminists for portraying the experiences and forms of women. She painted 143 self-portraits, 55 of which were her own. She became known for painting self-portraits despite having polio as a child and spinal and pelvic injuries from the car accident I referenced earlier. This is very inspiring to many people as it shows nothing is impossible. Frida's radical approach in showing women has, beca has become a hallmark of universal art. More Frida Kahlo. The following text I will be sharing is from the book, Forever Frida, a celebration of the life, art, loves, words, and style of Frida Kahlo by Kathy Cano Murillo. And the reason for this inclusion is because I feel as, the, as if this describes Frida perfectly in a way that we can all see her. And the text is as it follows. Above all, Frida Kahlo is a visual storyteller. Her language of resiliency transcended words and phrases she relayed her darkest thoughts and most painful experiences with the strokes of a paintbrush, journal sketches and drawings, childhood polio, schoolyard bullying, physical disabilities, love affairs, a cheating husband, strong political views, and most of all, a passion for knowledge added up to a vibrant life documented in artful majesty. During her 47 years on earth, Frida unknowns most and frightened more than a few. She endured days of both beauty and agony and didn't hold back from sharing every incident. She embellished her reality the same way she did her oil paintings. She's the embodiment of love and the healing powers of self-expression. Love for Mexico, love for mankind, love for nature, love for her body and soul, love for independent thinking, love for Diego. This is the famous art piece I will be discussing, which is The Suicide of Dorothy Hale by Frida Kahlo, which was created in 1938. Dorothy Hale. Before discussing the artwork itself, I would like to discuss who Dorothy Hale was. The following information is all from the website imdb.com. Dorothy Hale was born Dorothy Anderson Donovan on January 11, 1905 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Her first professional job was in the 1924 Broadway musical Lady Be Good. She became a popular socialite and was called one of the best dressed women in the country. Her friend Claire Booth Lucy cast her in the play Abidi by Me. The show was a flop and her performance was panned. By 1937, 
her acting career was over and she was nearly bankrupt. Tra tragically, at 5.15 a.m. on October 21st, she committed suicide by jumping out of her 16th floor window. Previously, she held a small, small party. Before discussing the artwork itself, I would like to provi provide a bit of background on the piece. And the following information is off from DorothyHale.com. So, 12 days later, socialite and playwright Claire Booth Lucy met famed surrealist Frida Kahlo at the artist's first solo exhibition in New York City. Frida Kahlo was asking questions about the parent suicide when Lucy spontaneously surprised a crowd at the Julian Levy Gallery and hired Kahlo to paint a portrait of Dorothy Hale as a gift for a grieving mother. After much deliberation, Kahlo painted one of her most famous paintings, El Suicidio de Dorothy Hale, but it was not a beautiful portrait of Hale as Lucy had anticipated. Instead, the painting depicted the actual death sequence of Dorothy Hale, falling in stages from her apartment window and landing on the sidewalk. Initially, Lucy wanted the painting destroyed. Instead, she had sections of the of the canvas painted over and then placed it in storage for several decades before donating it anonymously to the Phoenix Art Museum. The following information is from LisaWallerRogers.com and this is her aspect of describing the painting. So, Callow painted Dorothy Hale as she jumped, fell, and landed dead and bloody on the concrete walk outside her apartment building. Blood red lettering at the bottom of her tableau details the tragedy in Spanish. In New York City on the 21st of October 1938 at 6 a.m. in the morning, Dorothy Hale committed suicide by throwing herself from a very high window in the Hampshire house. In her memory, this portrait was executed by Frida Kahlo. The following is how the painting is described per Frida Kahlo by Gary Souter. Oil on massinet with decorated wooden frame, 60.4 by 48.6 centimeters, and it is located in the Phoenix Art Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. This is the conclusion of my keynote, and I finished my presentation. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed Frida Kahlo, the suicide of Dorothy Hale.